So in this video, so I'm just going to show you five ways how I use MIDI with my switcher to control my stomp. The main thing to remember is that this should apply to any switcher out there on the market. Really good idea to start thinking about simple ways how you can use MIDI in your pedal board. The first one that I'll do is basically, it's a really easy one, okay, which is get your switcher to switch on the tuner on your device okay so um, on my switcher I'm switching the tuner from my switcher and I switch it on on my stop so what I did on my switcher on my switcher I've got a um, music on FX LE okay I'll put a link in the description below if you wanted to check out the um, LE because I think they're releasing this the LE2 okay um, but what I did I basically just went okay so I have the mute button on my switcher Instead of just muting my entire rig, why don't I make the most out of it and get it to switch my tuner on on my um, HX stop? I just wanted to show you one here on the pedal board, okay, how I do it with the preset, where I engage um, the tuner from my switcher. Okay, that's it. Uh, if you could see on the stomp on here, if I do a little bit out so I can switch that back on and play okay which is great okay so so it doesn't have to be just the tuner but it just gives you an idea on what you can actually do Now the second way, uh, or the second best thing, that, you, or the second tip that I've got for you on how to use MIDI with your pedal board, okay, is with your switcher, just make sure, okay, that you can um, create a tap tempo, and from that tap tempo, you go to the HX stop, okay, and any other devices that you've got hooked up with MIDI. Now, a lot of switches, and the reason why I suggest to do that via MIDI a lot of switches will have a uh, sort of like a tap tempo out, but there's an issue with that. And the issue is, is that you probably can only do it to one device at a time. A uh, 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 boss uh, tuner on some type of voice you want to... Right. So on your pedal board, you might have more than one device. Okay. So, um, so I've got on my pedal board, I've got the Line 6 M5 and I have the HX stop. Now, the reason why I chose to do it via MIDI is because it enables me to control two devices at once. So I can actually do my tap tempo on my M5 and I can do my tap tempo on my HX stop. Okay, so that makes things a lot easier. Now, just to clarify as well, the reason why I've got the M5 on my pedal board, I love the HX stomp legacy effects. Okay, the reason why I bought the HX stop was because I own the M5 and I'm absolutely enamored with the M5. I think the effects that comes out of it are absolutely great. It's a great device and it works well on any pedal board. So if I wanted to use a tremolo, for example, and I wanted that tremolo to um, follow a particular beat, okay, um, and I wanted my M5 to have a delay on it, so that delay would go somewhere in the effects loop between the amp block and the cap block that I've got in the HX Stomp. It just means that I can have the tremolo and the delay working together on, on that beat per minute. Okay, so it, they kind of work in tandem and it just makes things a lot easier. I've got my tap tempo on. Okay, and it's actually controlling my tap tempo. So if I switch on here, don't know if, how well you can see it, but on my, it says that the beats per minute is external. So 
Um, let's go to a second preset on here. Okay. So on this preset, okay, now we've got tap tempo, so I've, um, 112. Okay. So normally on the stomp, by the way, this switch is normally in red, okay? And what that means is basically like the control is kind of telling you that the control is that you have to press the tap tempo on the stomp to get the tap tempo on the stomp. But when it's in blue, it basically it's telling you it's receiving the MIDI signal externally, okay? That's why I'm keeping it on because I want to know when I'm playing live, for example, or for any situation, like when I first switch on my pedal board sometimes, it will go red, okay? So what that basically tells me is that it's working. And if it goes red, if it's blue, it tells me it's working. If it goes red, it just basically means it's not working. If for whatever reason, for example, like a MIDI cable was loose on either side and it's not receiving any of the MIDI signal again, I know visually that I could just go to my HX stop. So this is more like me sort of um, thinking about future problems I might have with my pedal board. It just means that I don't need an external switch and it also means if I um, get rid of any of these pedals sort of thing and I get like a H9 or I get a Strymon pedal or anything else on there, okay, anything else that requires MIDI, um, it means that I can hook it up with MIDI, um, it will receive messages from my switcher and it can be tap tempoed and I can do um, three devices at once. <laughs> Third tip that I've got for you, okay, to utilize your FS4 and your FS5 on your um, HX Stomp, get your switcher to send MIDI signals um, that will enable those on or off. Um, you just figure out, for example, what is, um, so I forgot which number it is um, on there, I'll try and remember if, uh, in a second, okay? So on my switcher, what I've actually done is I've started utilizing FS4 and FS5 to do different things based on the preset that I'm on. One of those things that I did on the input signal, sometimes I want the noise gate on, um, and in other application I want it off, and the majority of the time I want it off. And I was thinking to myself, well, what if I get to a situation where even though I've got it off, there's a lot of noise happening, for example, for whatever reason from the PA, like there's a, a ground loop somewhere and all that kind of stuff, and I just go, I want my noise gate on. Um, but in the next preset, I want the noise gate off and all that kind of stuff. So what I actually did on my heavy presets, um, my heavy, heavy rhythm preset, where I used to utilize like a Mesa, um, so not a Mesa, but a Mark IV sort of preset, I actually programmed my switcher to switch that um, noise gate on or off. So when I first engage it, it's on, um, and then I can press it to switch it off. So it makes sense for me to use it via MIDI, okay, and not to um, utilize any other foot switches on my um, HX stomp um, to, to get rid of that, okay? So it just makes sense, and you can actually start, it will actually start opening doors for you, okay? So as well as having the um, presets on your stomp, okay, you can actually um, put a pedal, one or two pedals that will get effective on or off, uh, sorry, that will get switched on or off via MIDI from the switcher. Um, and you can instantly think of the massive applications that you can do with this. Then when I hit um, loop number three on here, it will engage my heavy preset. If I press three again, my gate is actually off, okay? I'll wait for the sound to go away. It sort of goes on forever. 
Um, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I can see it on my PC going away. Okay, so, but if I press it on, my nose gate is on, and this is what it will sound like. So the fourth uh, reason why I used um, MIDI with my switcher, okay, um, to control my stomp, is for my presets, okay? Good enough for rock and roll. Right, okay. Think about your stomp as a amp. Um, realistically, um, you start need to start thinking about like how many amps, okay? So you can have 50, like all the amps from the stomp, that's fine. But for me, what I started thinking about is going like, okay, so instead of having like um, five amps or six amps, I reduced it down to one amp. With everything that I've been recording recently, I've been using the Kali 4, okay, which is a great amp. It takes a while to set it up, but it's a lot of fun. Once you get it done, it's, it's great. So then what I started doing, I started thinking to myself, okay, so what do I need it for? I need, it, I need four channels, I need four sounds out of it. Um, clean crunch, um, heavy rhythm, and my lead sound. So, and that's how I set up my switcher to start sending things from the switcher itself all the way to the stop. Okay, so basically what I did, switches on my uh, switcher, switches on my switcher, one more thing, okay? Switches on my switcher to so I could go like um, clean and then and this is my clean sound. And the way I'm utilizing the stomp is I could switch off my compressor if I want. I could switch off my um, effects suit. So there we go. Okay, so this is this is the first step that I've got it and then my second channel Okay, that's going to be my um, crunch And I've actually got the um, soul food um, Here we go. That's the soul food going into the stomp. Okay Just great sound, so I could engage my Hedgehog 9, for example, or Hedgehog D9. Just do, um, so I'm using it to tighten up the low end. Um, and then I've got my heavy sound. And I could switch my, I could use MIDI, by the way. Um, if, you, I don't know if you can see this, I could use MIDI from the switcher, from Foot Foot 3, to switch off the noise gate on the stomp. It's a great sound, um, and it just makes things a lot easier. And then I've got my lead sound. And I can switch off the... Um, again. Okay. I've got the Scream um, 808. And I can switch off my um, Flex Loop.
fifth reason, okay, so the fifth tip why you need to use and why you need to start utilizing MIDI with uh, the switcher um, or any sort of device that you've got, okay, with your stomp, it will start opening up um, sort of gateways for you, it will start like making things a lot easier. So the thing to remember is that stomp in itself has only got three foot switches, okay, um, and you can have six blocks. Um, on my switcher, for example, I've got five switches. So I can actually start sending MIDI messages from my switcher to um, my stomp. And that will enable me to utilize a lot more things within the switcher, okay? And it will um, enable me sort of thing, to start doing a few more things um, that I might not be able to do with this stomp on its own. Um, if I have a traditional pedal without a switch on, I might not be able to do it as well. That's it, really. Okay? Um, using the stomp on its own is great, and I've used it before on its own, and it just kept things nice and simple. Three foot switches, you don't need to think about anything else. But then when I brought in the switches, it just makes things a lot easier. This is it for this video. I really do hope that you enjoy it. And if you want to listen to um, some presets, uh, check out uh, my playlist for the one minute tone okay, where I utilize um, some presets that I'm creating in this tone. But also at the same time, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and please check out my music on Spotify. Um, come find me on Facebook, come find me on Instagram. I think I'm on Twitter. Um, who knows? Okay. Um, but yeah, just please uh, support me, support the channel, support my growth on there. And it'll be absolutely awesome uh, to see you on the next video. All right. Cheers, guys.